There are a lot of companies that you can invest in, and it might be too overwhelming to choose just a few from them. If you're struggling in finding the right stock, then this video is for you. Hi, welcome back to Grace and Finance. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about the top stocks to buy in 2022. Number one, the Vanguard Value Index Fund. If you are unfamiliar with this fund, it's an exchange fund tracking the performance of the CRSP US Large Cap Value Index. This index is meant to measure the return of large cap value stocks. Now, one share of the VTV is currently trading at $145.29, $133.51 for a 52 week low and $151.89 at a 52 week high. The VTV has a net asset of $145.28 billion as well as an average yield of 2.32%. Furthermore, this fund would feel like you are not paying any fees at all with an expense ratio of just 0.04%. If we take a peek at its sector weighings, we can observe that financial service is almost at 20% consumer defensive at 11.94%, Healthcare at 21.2% and industrials at 12.06%. If you've noticed, technology is just a small part of this fund at only 8.36%. Its average price or earnings are at 18.96, while the average price or book is at 2.7. Now, if we take a look at the performance overview, we'll be able to see a negative 2.28% year-to-date daily total return, while the one-year daily total return is at 5.04%. And lastly, a three-year daily total return of 12.8%. Large cap companies are considered more stable, accompanied by minimal risk and a more insured cash flow. Since this stock is also known to outperform growth stocks in the long run, it's a good investment for the long term. Looking at this fund's largest holdings, we can see companies that are known for their durable competitive advantages. Number 2. Kraft Heinz Just a quick background about this one. Kraft Heinz is an American multinational food producer formed by the merger of Kraft Foods and Heinz. At this moment, a share of the stock is trading at $37.83, $32.78 at a 52-week low, and a $44.87 at a 42-week high. The market cap is at $49.812 billion, with a P.E. ratio of $38.21, earnings per ratio of $0.99, and a dividend of 4.01%, which is pretty great. Furthermore, we expect a 5-year peg ratio of 2.83 and a price or book ratio of 0.96. If we take a look at its profitability, its profit margin is 4.77%. On the other hand, the return on equity is very low at 2.47%. If we take a look at its dividend payout ratio, it's at 161.62%, which is quite concerning. On the analyst's rate on this investment, it scored a 3, which means a hold derived from a scale of 1 to 5, with 1 being a strong buy and 5 being a sell. The average analyst price target is 15% higher than the current price. It's at $42.88. While other companies struggled during the pandemic, Kraft Heinz, on the other hand, received a financial boost. This is because as people mostly stay at home, they often eat at home as well. With this, there had been a huge demand for ready-to-eat foods, which Kraft Heinz is all about. It's safe to assume that Kraft Heinz is able to survive unpredictable circumstances. This investment is worth checking out considering its durability and growth over the past few years, and it is traded at a slight discount at this moment. Number 3. Citigroup Just another quick background about this one. Citigroup is an American multinational investment banking and financial company. 
The headquarters is located in New York City, and they are considered one of the largest banks in the U.S. and even the world. Currently, a share of Citigroup is trading at $53.62, $45.40 in a 52-week low, and $80.29 in a 52-week high. Their market cap is at $104.126 billion, a P/E ratio of 6.3, which is, of course, considered very low. Earnings per share at $8.51. And a great dividend at 3.77 percent. The price our book is at 0.54, which can mean that it's undervalued. If we take a look at its profitability, on the other hand, the profit margin is 25.17 percent, and the return on equity is 9.15 percent. The revenue is at 72.76 billion in the last 12 months. If we take a look at the balance sheet. The total cash is nine hundred fifty-six point eighty-nine billion dollars, and the dividend payout ratio is at twenty-three point eighty-nine percent, which means we are still able to have a lot of cash for growing the company. The analysts are rating it at two point four, making it placed in between buying and hold. The average analyst price target, on the other hand, is sixty-six point forty-four dollars, making it two hundred five more than the current price. However. In the past year, Citigroup had it pretty bad with a 17.5% fall on the stock in the past six months, making a trade at a significant discount in comparison to its book value. One reason that might interest you in investing in Citigroup is the fact that Warren Buffett is placing its best on or investing in Citigroup. We all know how knowledgeable Buffett is in this field. That's why this information may be a push for people to invest here as well. Of course, now we are left with the question of just how long Citigroup will take to come back to its actual market value. Personally, I think it will come back soon enough. That's why the stock is worth considering. Number four, Energy Energy. This American company is based in Texas, specializing in the sale of electricity as well as energy generation. One share of Energy is trading at forty-six point forty-six dollars at this moment, with thirty-one point ninety-four dollars being the fifty-two week low, and forty-seven point eighty-two dollars in the fifty-two week high. The market cap is at eleven point zero twenty-four billion dollars, a P/E ratio of two point eighty-three, earnings per share at sixteen point thirty-nine, and a dividend yield at two point ninety-nine percent, which is quite great. The price share ratio is at 0.42, while the price book ratio is at 2.16. If we take a look at its probability, the profit margin is at 14.95 percent, while the return of equity is at 122.35 percent, which is actually quite high. If we look at the statement, the revenue is at 26.79 billion, and looking at the balance sheet, we will notice a Total cash of 387 million, with the current ratio of 1.38, while the dividend payout ratio is quite great at 8.06. On the other hand, the analysts rate it 2.5, meaning it is between a buy and a hold. The analyst price target for this one is at 45.18 dollars, which is actually just a tiny bit under the price currently, 46.46 dollars. This company is actually unlike any same old energy company. This company sells electricity in many modes, such as call centers, websites, as well as brokers. If we look at diversity in its portfolio of services, this company doesn't fall short, as it offers natural gas, coal, oil, wind generation, and even nuclear generation. Considering that this company accumulated a net income of 1.7 billion in comparison to its negative 82 million dollars last year, means that it had an insane growth. Now, the company is operating a cash flow of 1.6 billion. It's a huge growth from the negative 916 million from the previous year. With all these huge growths in just a single year passing, this company is really worth considering. Number five, Marathon Oil. Another quick background on this one: Marathon Oil is one of the largest oil companies in the world. It's an American oil company that is based in Ohio. 
The current trade of one marathon oil share is at $31.16, $10.41 being its 52-week low and $31.16 being its 52-week high. Yes, as you have observed, we are currently at one-year high. The market cap on the other hand is at $22.052 billion and has a P.E. ratio of 11.19. Furthermore, Earnings per share are at $2.78 while the dividend is at 1.1%. If we look at its profitability, the profit margin is at 34.7% and the return of equity is 19.54%. The revenue in the last 12 months, on the other hand, had been $6.21 billion. Additionally, the balance sheet shows total cash at $682 million with a current ratio of 1.1%. If we take a look at the payout ratio, it's at 7.69. This means that most of the money goes back to the company for growth. The ratings of the analysts are at 2.2, which means it's a buy. The average analyst price target, on the other hand, is $32.76, which is just a little bit higher than the current price of $31.16. We are all aware of the world events happening recently, and because of it, oil prices are a lot higher than their usual price. This growth in oil prices is a way for the Marathon Oil Company to have its company's value increase incredibly, as it did not hedge its position in commodities. Of course, Marathon Oil is a good choice if you want to get into oil right now. But it's also accompanied by risks, if we consider that it's an all-time high. That is why you should make sure you actually practice your own due diligence before taking the risks. Doing due diligence is not just if you're planning to invest in Marathon Oil, but for all companies listed in this video as well. Don't just invest in these companies because it's mentioned in this video. Make the appropriate measurements prior before committing. Thanks so much for watching! I hope this video was helpful. If you like this video, make sure to click like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell to keep you updated on new helpful videos like this one.